with, with a bunch of carbohydrates. You have rice, you have cereal, you have pasta, you have bread. You bring all those carbohydrates in and you plop them on your countertop in your kitchen. That countertop is the equivalent in our analogy as your bloodstream. So when you eat a donut or you eat a sandwich, your body breaks down that carbohydrates into the bloodstream as glucose units. Right? That bloodstream, in our scenario, in our analogy, is the countertop. Right? Most of us eat too much carbohydrates too fast. So that, that example, that analogy is like... ...full of carbohydrates. It's full of glucose. So what happens is, now in comes your wife, or now in comes your husband, Mr. or Mrs. Insulin right, in our body. So our body secretes insulin when it sees an, an, a large uptick in blood sugar, right? In our example, when, you're, when your wife or husband, Mr. or Mrs. Insulin comes in and sees this mess of glucose, of carbohydrates on the counter, it panics. Just like your body panics, your pancreas panics and releases insulin. So now we must get rid of, from the bloodstream, right, from the countertop, we must get rid of all this mess, all this carbohydrate broken down into glucose. And where does it go? Our body puts that into temporary storage, right? Readily accessible temporary storage. Where? In our muscle, muscles, and our liver, right? So in our analogy, in our example, those are the cabinets in our kitchen. Right, so once Mrs. Insulin comes in and says, you know what, it's a mess in here, get rid of all this glucose, right, our bodies store that glucose, right, those carbohydrates in the temporary storage in our muscle and our liver, okay? So the, the, the key is, the trick is, is, is you want to have space available. That's why guys can lose, when they go low carbs or no carbs, they can lose more weight more quickly because we have more counter, uh, more cabinet space, right? I have more cabinet space than most people because I have more muscle. So I can go up and down six, seven, eight pounds in a few days if I go either high carb or low carb. My body will store more and I can release more, more quickly because I have more capacity to store glucose. Right? So again, the, the analogy is you come in with this high-carb meal, right? the equivalent of coming in with groceries of, of, of a high-carb content, rice, you know, cereal, bread, pasta, and so forth. Countertop is full. right? Here comes insulin, right? Mrs. Insulin, and says, get rid of that. We put all that glucose into the cabinets right? and store them in our muscle and our liver. Right? The cabinets are the muscles and the liver of the body. All right, so the trick is this, and here's where we go wrong, guys, is we run out of space to store any extra carbohydrates very quickly. In fact, most of us walk every day around with our cabinets almost full all the time. We don't exercise enough, we don't go low carb, we don't fast, so we are always trying to put more storage, more glucose into our cabinets when the cabinets are usually either full or close to full. All right, so what happens when they're full? When the cabinets are full and there's nowhere to put any extra glucose that we eat, our body has to store it somewhere. That's how the bodies work. It can't just, just, just disappear. So what happens is our body has to store that extra glucose as fat, as body fat, into fat cells. So in our, in our example, our analogy, right, once the, the, the countertops are full, Right, we come in, Miss Insulin comes in and gets rid of all that glucose and puts it in the cabinets, right? Once the cabinets are full, right, the next thing you eat as a carbohydrate gets stored as body fat. So in our example, we have to call right the storage unit, right, the fat you store truck to come and get the body fat that we must now store. Right, the extra glucose that we can't store internally, that we're not using immediately, we have to store in long-term storage. And the trick and the danger in that is many of us will never get that release. We will never get rid of that body fat because we don't do the measures that are necessary to do the reverse of this equation, which is first get rid of all the bloodstream glucose by using it, by exercising, then by means of of fasting, of going low to no carbs, and or exercising in a way that gets rid of the stored glycogen 
in our muscle and liver, only then can we call the truck to bring the body fat, to release body fat, to oxidize body fat. So the reverse almost never happens for many of us because we don't have the, the, the discipline and the work ethic to begin that process of using up, right, using up the countertop glucose, right, and then tapping into by way of a glycogen deficit, which we'll get into in this course, but by way of a glycogen deficit of using more glycogen than we take in over days, weeks, months even, so that we're able to empty out the cabinets, right, to empty out the glycogen that is stored in our liver and our muscles, right? Only then...